We're going to create a box for one of the pharmacy items that is currently in a plastic bag. And it's an unusual shape and it's hard to get an exact measurement, which is a good one to start off with for this. We are going to be using acid-free mat board. We have several different sizes. Of course, I use metric, rulers, straight edges. We use white glue, bone folders, scissors, and acid-free tape, clips, and of course our exacto knife. Before you start any project, you always snap off a brand new blade and put it in your sharps container. Because this is the unusual shape, it's easiest to start off with two sides did a rough calculation, that's a two inch ruler, that seems to be a good size for the height of it. To make the lines with a metric ruler, we use the back edge of the cutter to create a, a groove for our cutting lines, so make it nice crisp lines. And it's a good idea to also continue with that on the other side. An example is, if you cut one side and fold it, you'll have a very rounded corner. If you score it on one side and score it on the outside, you'll end up with a sharp corner. So there's two different kinds of corners you'll end up with. This can be reinforced with a further um, taping. Make sure you're on the right side to do your double. We are going to do an approximation of how high up to go. So we can probably do about there. So to get this final cut, we'll cut this corner, one side, all the way through. These ones, just put your fingers in the crease you made and lift up 90 degrees. Same as this tab. And the same for the side. In approximate shape, we can do the same thing with another board, how high up to another two inch high piece. Make it a mark with some loose parts in it. This one seems to be bowing out, so I'll move it over a bit more. And then we'll add half an inch for breathability and padding.
to do the same, so let's go on the bottom, cut off this. Again, we want to have some padding space. ample room for it to move around and for being able to pick it up. So we will cut the padding. Making it a little bit short so when the edges come up there won't be any binding. Perfect. Okay. Depending on the item, you can decide if you want padding along the sides. Make sure you include that in your overall measurements. In this case, we're only putting it on the bottom. Uh, if you're not familiar with working with um, the back of a sharp uh, uh, utility knife, you can go through too far and you will separate your paper. To fix that, you can use some acid-free archival linen hinging tape to prepare that. And then formally open up the ones you need.
Right. Put your tabs behind the center so there's a clean inside. You can do that with the craft paper and with acid-free double-sided tape. The acid-free tape will give you immediate bond, whereas the but a craft glue will give you a long-term um, adherence. Then the item can go inside as your finished box.